Hey guys, so I thought I'd do a quick grocery haul, but also a small kind of pantry tour, fridge tour, that kind of thing. It's not gonna be complete, but it will give you an idea of the kind of things I keep in. I'm gonna tell you now, I keep quite a lot because I like to be able to make anything I want with what I've got in, um, within reason. And I also, I have a bit of a thing of being a bit prepared, especially after all the COVID stuff earlier in the year when the supermarkets ran out of everything. And don't get me wrong, I'm sure that won't happen again, but I do like to keep a spare of everything anyway, at least one spare. <laughs> and, um, and I do like to make sure I've got all the spices and things that I commonly use so that, you know, imagine uh, you suddenly only had 10 pounds to your name and you still wanted to be able to eat well, I would like to be able to take that £10, go out and buy a load of vegetables and still be able to make really nice meals when I come home. So that's pretty much always my goal with shopping. Now, um, with the Slimming World bent to it today, um, I also want to show you a load of Slimming World snacks and treats that I have, so low sin items. Um, I'm going to show you a couple of things I've bought today from different supermarkets. In my town, I'm lucky enough to have a Lidl, a Tesco, a Sainsbury's. There is a co-op, but it's not very good for vegans. It's a really, really small old one. <laughs> so um, yeah, so I tend to use Lidl, Tesco, Sainsbury's fairly interchangeably. Different things I like to get from each. Today I've been to Lidl and Tesco, so I'll show you things I got from those two. And I'm also gonna show you a haul from a a bigger Tesco that has some stuff my one in this town does not have <laughs> and uh, that's filmed a couple of days ago ready for you. Final point before I show you what I've got, I always like to keep, I've lost it, <laughs> um, I keep these little things of stickers and I just keep them on the table here and then I can just write the sins on things as soon as uh, you know, before I put them away. And that way, when you pull something out, you know how many sins it is straight away. So really, really good tip. So do, if you take on nothing else, just take on that one. Okay, here's some things I got from Tesco today. Um, a lot of this is just replenishing my stock. So I tend to keep one thing in the cupboard in the kitchen, and then I always keep a spare in stock. So that when I run out in the kitchen, I go and take one from my stock. When I go shopping, I replace what's in the stock. It's very, um, basic system but it works for me i have quite a large stock of things like i just said anywho all the basic um pastas and grains really um i already had things like quinoa in so i didn't need to buy any of that this is just things that i uh, need to replenish so bulgur wheat really really lovely lentils you can use them in tons of things Pearl barley is lovely in the winter, in stews and casseroles, it really thickens them up. Delta. <laughs> okay, couscous, obviously brilliant for a really quick meal. Soup pasta, because I, <laughs> I always like to have a... What's the matter? You're being very noisy, and we're trying to show the groceries. Do you want attention? Is that the problem? Do you want attention? Do you? Do you? I know, what's that? It's my phone, isn't it? Is that my phone? Well, you're a pretty girl. You okay? Should we carry on? Good girl. Good girl. Uh, just to remind everyone, she's a rescue and she cannot fly. That's why I have her. So that's why her cage is really full of me things and also when I'm home during the day I open the door for her because she likes to climb around the outside of the cage just to get a little bit of extra movement hopefully now I've spoken to her she won't squawk oh no we'll see <laughs> where are you off are you coming to see me <laughs> what are you doing you're a funny girl <laughs> oh we're attempting to carry on, sorry about that. So couscous, great for quick meals. Soup pasta, I always keep a couple of bags in. Great in winter to bulk out your soups with beans and things, think minestrone. Um, linguine, I'm buying this at the moment because Tesco was selling off. Um, they had all these random pasta brands in from when everyone ran out. So all the shops have got these like random <laughs> Italian <laughs> pastas in. And uh, so these are 37p at the moment for these linguinis, and I really love linguini, so um, I just keep buying one or two every time I go to the shop. Then I've got whole wheat spaghetti. 
it speaks for itself really. Um, okay, and then drinks wise, these are free. So I have a passion fruit lemonade and a pink lemonade and they're both sin free because they're like no sugar or no added sugar or whatever. Then um, I've got a soy milk and a coconut milk just because I um, the only other milk I had in is the Alpro Almond Barista. So that's not really good if you want to have it. As I was saying, the Alpro Almond Barista uh, is no good if you want to have it just in a, a recipe or something. So yeah, I've just got a couple of different options. Uh, soy sauce, I get through quite a lot, so I just need to buy some more. Unfortunately, my Tesco is small enough that it doesn't do the Tesco own brand one. So I just got that one to make sure I've got some in. And I was looking for Hula Hoops Puffed because um, I really like them, but my Tesco doesn't appear to sell them. So I bought some Pom Bears instead. They're on offer for a pound and they are three and a half cents per bag and these are six packs so i thought brilliant because i love a, a salty snack i've got my old favorite bonville buttons here i think they're six and a half for 25 grams so quite a nice thing to have harissa paste because uh, my stock one is gone and then the only fresh things i bought because i got my veg in lidl um i got some dill because lidl don't do it i got some baby spinach because the little spinach is really um, big and I like the baby one. And I got some peppers because the little ones today weren't very good. So that's that one. Okay, hopefully Delta isn't gonna act up too much, but I feel like she will, so I'll try and be quick as possible. This is my haul from Lidl today. This is everything I bought. Um, this is the receipt. And as you can see, it came to 15 pounds 47. Uh, my most extravagant items, the tender stem and the asparagus, they are my treat items. I love them so much. Um, so yeah, basically four bags of salad leaves. They're the best place for salad leaves in my opinion. They do really nice ones and they're really cheap. Obviously tender stem and asparagus as I mentioned. And then fruit, I got some oranges because I really like these to snack on. Um, bananas, same thing, or in breakfast. Nectarines and limes because I've uh, only got one left and some raw beetroot. Um, it's only 59p in Lidl, unbelievable, and yet Tesco would charge you an arm and a leg for the organic one that's like this big. Uh, anyway, this is not a rant. Um, and then I got some herbs, just some mint parsley and coriander. Obviously I bought dill in Tesco, so that's me covered for that. I should probably mention that in Tesco earlier, I did also do a stock up of tins, but I'll show you that in my stores. So just a quick, um, show of some of the things that I really, really like on Slimming World. Um, and I just want to show you a little trick that I do. It's not really a trick, it's just obvious really. Um, but I put a little sticker with the sin values on everything. Um, and I just use these little packs of stickers um, from the range, I think. So um, it's just really good to have a little visual when you pull something out of the fridge or the cupboard. So again, for example, these, I label them individually, they're five and a half sins each. Alpro, um, Alpro, Alpen bars, um, everyone knows about these, but they're three sins or half your healthy extra B, or you can have two of them for your healthy extra B or six sins. These, sorry about the microwave. These are four sins each, Calo rice cake thins. They're really, really nice. Um, the little chock pots, the salted caramel is probably my favorite. It's six and a half sins though. You've also got the chocolate for five sins. I like rice cakes, one and a half sins each. So that's just some of the things that I like, but also I wanted to show you because I have actually succumbed and bought some fry light, but I do prefer to use oil um, and I like the spray oils. So again, half a sin for five sprays. Um, and I like to have an olive one and a rapeseed one, depending on you know what you're using it for. You can use the olive one on salads and stuff. And then finally, a little tip that I do. Um, I, if like you've got a recipe that calls for um, white wine or red wine or anything in there, then you can just use a stock pot. Um, Tesco do these. So obviously then they're sin free. And then they also do these, which I really, really like. And you've probably seen in my videos before, but it's the rich and smoky stock pots and they are so, so good. So um, yeah, I really recommend trying out some flavored stock pots because it will save you a few sins here and there. Okay, I'm just gonna show you around some of my sort of pantry items and fridge, etc. This is my kitchen sort of pantry and it's, Awesome, I love it. Goes right up to the top of this unit. 
the ceilings up there. So in this whole big top section, I keep all my bulk purchases of teas. Um, you guys know I love my puck of tea in particular, so I've got a ton up there. I've also got a few random things, so including my granola um, that I like. That's a healthy extra beyond Slimming World. I've got a few packets of rice. I keep the Thai jasmine rice in the packets. It's really, really nice. A few things like that, some more tea. And then any random things I buy that aren't on like my normal shopping list. So um, I found, for example, these mushroom shreds the other day. Uh, I've tried the shawarma one, but not the Korean one yet. So um, I'm looking forward to that. So you will see those in videos soon. Um, I can't remember the sins. There's something like two and a half for a pack. Uh, I had to use the sin calculator because they weren't on there yet. So, the real joy, I wish I could show you properly, this thing comes out, which is just the best design ever. Just stand back and show you. So this is all my tins and things. Um, in this top section, I've got, I keep all my stocks at the front here and I've got these little fridge things that I bought in Wilco, I think I got these things. Um, I've got all my nut butters and tahini, mushroom ketchup, some Tabasco sauce, probably well out of date because I haven't used it for a while, um, Marmite. Then this one I've got, this is like, um, I've got a silken tofu, passata, sweet corn, coconut milk, jackfruit, uh, tinned cherry tomatoes and tinned chopped tomatoes. This one is all my different types of beans. Um, it's not full right now because I did some stocking up earlier and I haven't put them in there yet. Um, please don't laugh, I keep a spreadsheet and I haven't updated the spreadsheet yet and so I can't put it in until I do. Yes, I'm a little bit OCD. <laughs> okay, and then down the bottom is kind of random surplus teas and coffees. Um, so there's quite a lot of loose leaf tea in here, spare coffees, because I can't get my espresso one that I like by me. I've got some marmalade and some jam things. So that's that main one. I'm sure I've shown you guys my spice drawer before, but um, it looks a bit different now to how it used to, um, mainly because I used to have it all in different jars, uh, like my own jars and then labeled, but I found that with the spices you didn't use so much, it became like you didn't know how odd they were. And also some of them are like just taking up room. And then there's some that I liked by the mixes. And so it just wasn't working out. So I've reverted, <laughs> but I do like to get all the Sainsbury's ones because I really like the little jars they do. A <laughs> um, couple of big things here from Costco is jointing of bay leaves, brilliant. A uh, couple of different sauces, for example, Harissa and Chipotle and uh, two different Thai curry pastes there, red and green, and then various Wicked Kitchen ones, curry powders, tajin. Oh my god, you can get this from I think it's called Mex Grocer, and this stuff. Oh, it's so good. It's basically lime and chili and salt. Honestly, it's making my mouth water thinking about it. It's so good. And then my old bay seasoning, which I got recently. I think my Costco trip was like two months ago. Um, literally just when things were starting to, just when we started to have to wear masks actually, so however long ago that was. Um, yeah, so that's that's nice, I like that, now I've discovered that. I've got a couple of different types of stock cubes, so um, these are the ones that aren't normal stock, they're kind of flavour pots. So you smoke chilli and tomato, what's this one? Paprika and sun-dried tomato. So that's like just random stuff that I get occasionally. Got this giant bottle of peri peri sauce. I don't know why, I haven't even opened it. Um, it's not the kind of thing I eat a lot of. I just, I do really like that one, but um, not quite sure why I've got a giant bottle. I think it was probably on offer and I got overexcited. Next up, oh, I'll just show you. So I keep my air fryer in the corner over there. That's where the long cupboard is over there. Don't mind me not having cleaned up my tea towels. This little corner, um, I always keep my tomatoes and my fruit bowl here. And then um, these are just a few things that I want to use up. So that's why they're out on the counter to remind me. And um, some bread rolls I bought today. And then this cupboard, it's like my dry goods cupboard. So uh, most of these have got labels on, but I mean, you can see spelt, quinoa, barley. That one's couscous. Bulgur wheat, I just haven't topped up. Got risotto rice in that one. Oats, green and red lentils. 
that's the whole wheat pasta which is there that I haven't put in um, and normal brown rice and then rice noodles they don't fit in jars or whatever so they just live on this shelf with linguine and the remains of the last bag of green lentils that I tried to top up with but it turns out it doesn't fit two bags in there so that's that one I love this cupboard it makes me happy <laughs> moving on down oh if you watched today's video, those are the chickpeas left over. I must put them away. Anyway, this is my fridge in the kitchen. This is my messy fridge. And basically it's got the things that you might use quickly. So I've got like some nuts and seeds. I need to go through this because not all of these should be in the fridge actually. I keep open things of olives, sun-dried tomatoes, that kind of stuff. Leftovers like half a block of tofu. I've got some passata left over. You'll know all this if you watch my video. Some drinks at the back that I need to go through. I've got lemon and lime juice for emergencies, vegan spread, cheese. That's a tofurky thing I need to use, which is why it's out in this fridge. Um, some open vegan mayo that's going on, flax seeds, oatly yogurt that needs using up. Um, and then oh, I've got the leftover lentil bolognese in two pots there. And then this drawer is my treat drawer. So, oh, I'm not gonna show you everything in here, but I've got like orange chocolate, Alpro chocolate dessert, coconut collaborative pots, um, Alpro 90 cal pots, some 70% uh, chocolate, Bourbonville buttons, basically stuff I can have on Swimming World. And then in the door, down the bottom, I keep milk and drinks. Oh, I didn't even realize I had spray cream there. Interesting. Uh, milk and drinks and then I've got sauces in that one and then like mustard and tomato puree in that, in that Okay, one. you guys see this side of my kitchen sometimes when I'm making drinks. I put my old tea bags in there and then put them in the um, veg recycling. So there's my veg bin there. I keep it clear as much as I can. Um, I'm sure you're all familiar with my tea, coffee and hot chocolate drawer, but basically teas. Those are my mum's that she likes to have when she comes over. I managed to get her hooked on almond lattes. She actually didn't um, even drink coffee <laughs> before them. So sorry, mum. Um, I got a couple of different kinds of coffee just because I ran out of that one and you can't buy it locally. So I had to buy that one, which is the same brand, but it's just crappy, normal instant coffee. More tea bags, decaf coffee, various uh, hot chocolates, um, salted caramel, peanut butter, Rocky Road, and that one's marzipan. And then some more teas, that one's loose leaf, it's really good. And then we go, this is my living room, my sofa. It looks a bit of a mess, um, but you know, it's real life. Um, I have been filling out my Sunning World stuff, so you can just see what's going on there. Um, Delta lives over there. And I've got some plants that I haven't killed yet, so that's nice. This is my table. Um, so I've got some fruit I haven't put away yet from earlier. That's the bulgur wheat that I didn't put in the jar yet. <laughs> um, pretty obvious really, some drinks I haven't put away. And then we go into the random other room um, that I have. Ignore the stuff on the ground I haven't gone through. That's some stuff that I'm selling for my mum. That's shopping I've done today that I haven't put away yet. And this is my storage area, but first, this is my fridge freezer. Um, I bought this because when I moved in, I only had the fridge that you guys have just seen and it was hell, to be honest. So this is now my main fridge and I keep this purely for my vegetables and herbs and things, tofu and that. So to show you, I tend to keep all my tofu on the top. Yes, look, I've got quite a lot of tofu um, because the smoked was on offer. <laughs> and I've got a couple of different kinds of yogurt. So I've got my plain yogurt. I've got another oatly, but it doesn't need using for a while. I've got an unopened plain with coconut there. And then I've got a load of Alpro Go Ones, or then whatever they're called now, Greek style high protein, blah, blah, blah. But there are Alpro Go Ones, let's face it. Um, loads of veggies here and they've got mushrooms like three packs of mushrooms behind them because i eat a lot of mushrooms um some broccoli and some salad leaves I've got some sweet potatoes aubergine and beetroot more beetroot <laughs> and some fresh peppers i've got some spring onions and cucumber and there's some carrots underneath all of that 
And then this side, I've got some more leaves. Oh, got some more leaves and I've got some more peppers. You can tell the things I eat a lot of. Um, and then at the top of this one, I always line all my things, but I've got a spare, uh, oh, two spare butters and a spare cheese. And then I keep my citrus here. So lemons and limes, chilies and ginger. That's what that shelf is for. And then I keep my herbs in the fridge door, which is the worst place to keep them, but hey ho. And then, hmm, I don't think you're gonna get much out of the freezer, but for example, this top shelf I usually use for vegan meats, but it's kind of got other stuff in there. So maybe we'll look at the freezer another day, but yeah, I've got various things in there. And finally, my storage area. Uh, sorry, it's my Hoover charging. <laughs> um, so literally everything that is in my kitchen, there's an extra one of, or two of, or several of out here. Some things I have more of because I went for a little phase where it was quite unorganized, but I've recently gone over and redone it. So in the crate underneath is all pastas, rices, um, noodles, nuts and seeds. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Got a few uh, long life milks there. And then in the top crate is tins of beans. Got my spices, spare spices that I use a lot of in this little thing. Tin tomatoes, tomato puree, oils, stocks, fry light. Bleh. And then in this one is just um, miso paste and uh, these are Thai curry paste. And then this one's like green peppercorns. And then underneath is more sauces like liquid smoke, soy sauce, uh, marmite, pesto, nut butters, gherkins, capers, um, sun-dried tomatoes, roasted peppers. So it's all the kind of flavor things. So this is like big things. Those tend to be flavor things. And that's really everything. Oh, except, except for my fridge in the garage, which I'm not gonna show you, but basically all it has in it, because when I moved in, again, that was, sorry, my freezer in the garage, um, it's just a normal, like under the counter freezer. It's just in the garage because there isn't enough room in my little kitchen. <laughs> and um, it has, I don't use it much now that I've got this fridge freezer, which by the way, I got for 50 quid on Facebook Marketplace and it is perfect. So happy day. Um, anyway, so my freezer in the garage has frozen vegetables like butternut squash, spinach, peppers, remember what else. It's got a few frozen veggie burgers, it's got some frozen vegan hex sausages and a couple of like really old ice lollies. Um, I think that's pretty much it. It's not a very big freezer at all, like a, just a three shelf one. Um, yeah, and, and that's everything. So uh, yeah, I feel like I keep quite a lot in but at the same time I like to be stocked up and I like to know that I can make stuff, like I said. So I hope this was interesting for you guys. Um, sorry if it was a bit rubbish, but I have had a few requests over the years to see how I keep my stores and stuff. So yeah, I hope that was useful. And if there's anything you want more detail on, just let me know in the comments. Thanks again, bye.